Right now, I'm going to teach you how to install the virtual audio cable. Okay, I have here a vMix and a Zoom and OBS. This virtual cable, you can use it in vMix, Zoom or OBS or any encoder that you prefer. Okay, if you're going to check in my Zoom, just click the mic icon and you can see here in the microphone, just only a microphone and same as system and also click the setting of my vmix and click the audio output you can see here in the audio settings that there is no virtual cable okay so now we're going to install it so let's go to my installation folder and i save it here in the downloads here virtual cable and i'm going to post the link of this virtual cable in the description below of this video okay you can download it anytime you want so let's begin right click this one and click run as administrator and click yes i accept and click i am an advanced user okay and click install okay just wait for it to finish and uh, to take effect the virtual audio cable okay in just a few seconds it will finish installation completed successfully click ok you have now line 1 line 2 line 3 line 4 line 5 line 6 line 7 and this one is the default so usually i'm going to use my speaker as my default just right click it and click set as default device okay and in the recording you can see here you already have line one to line seven actually in your first installation you will have only line one and line two line three is nothing there just only line one but i'm going to show you how to make this multiple lines of virtual cable so as of now I'm just going to make this one as my default device. Okay. So click OK. To make multiple lines of the virtual cable, just click this search icon and you type VAC. Okay. Right click this one, VAC control panel, and click run as administrator. Now, there it is. At first, you have only one virtual cable here in your first installation. Okay. But to make it multiple, as of me, I make it 1 to 7. But it's up to you how many virtual cables you want. So to make it um, multiple virtual cables, just uh, encode here the number of virtual cables you want. As of me, I just encode 7. Okay, If you want 5, you can encode 5. Or if you want 15, encode 15. As of me, I just have 7. 7 for me is enough. Okay, and then click set okay after you click set the number of virtual cables that you have set will be shown in this box and if you are done just click x okay so if you are going to visit again the microphone icon you can see now here the virtual cables the line one line two line three four five six seven okay and same as in the speaker you have one to seven virtual cables and you can set also in the vmix the virtual cable and click audio outputs click here uh, by the way just restart our vmix to take effect the virtual cable okay just go back to the settings and click audio and click here see line one let's say a will be the line one b will be the line two c line three d line four e line five f line six g line seven okay so a line one b line two and so on and so forth and click okay and uh, start vmix to apply changes okay click yes it will just restart again so if we're going to check it again audio outputs 
So we already have set the virtual cables. Okay, just click OK. Now let's have a sample video. Let's go to our video. Let's say uh, this one, Baby Shark. So let's just going to forward it. See? So go to your audio mixer and just click A. A is line one, B is line number two. And if you right click this one, you have the C, D, E, F, G. Just right click here, right click, and you can see the other lines, C, D, E, F. So let's say in the line one, which is the A, and if you go to your zoom, choose also here line one. For the microphone line one see line one and in the setting here line one if we're going to play this baby shark video okay so and you turn on your mic and video okay see you can see here that your microphone is working see if we're going to uh, to turn off the a so there will be no audio in your zoom see if you set it uh, turn it again turn on it again so you have the audio of your microphone so our virtual cable is working as what it is intended to do my virtual cable is the, an old version, but you can visit the website here. And this is the website. See? And just click here, full version. There is a small amount to pay home license. These are the, the fee of this uh, virtual cable. But you can use also my virtual cable. You can download it but it is just an old version of this one but anyway it will just work as what it is supposed to do okay if you learn something please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much